The U.S. Department of Justice has confirmed a person has been arrested over the recent wave of mail bombs and is now in custody. The packages were crude, homemade pipe bombs and were sent to an array of top Democrat figures. Well, let's go live now to RT's Caleb Morpin uh, in New York. Caleb, just bring us up to speed uh, with developments. Uh, Donald Trump has just announced uh, an arrest has been made. Yes, we heard a rather triumphant Donald Trump speaking about how the suspect who's blamed for the incident, uh, the person accused of sending the mail bombs, uh, that that person has been apprehended. Trump spoke about how much he felt that law enforcement had acted very effectively and how quickly they had moved. He said it was almost like a needle in a haystack, yet they had caught the person very quickly. The person was apprehended in the area they suspected the packages were coming from, which was Florida. Uh, this is Trump speaking. Uh, in the aftermath of the arrest of the individual. We will prosecute them, him, her, whoever it may be, to the fullest extent of the law. We must never allow political violence to take root in America. Cannot let it happen. And I'm committed to doing everything in my power as president to stop it. Now, the individual who was apprehended does have a criminal background, had previously been convicted of grand theft auto, um, and uh, apparently uh, had a history of ties to New Jersey. Um, but anyhow, uh, the person was residing in Florida. They've been apprehended, and we're expecting to hear from the U.S. Department of Justice shortly. They'll be providing details about the case. Now, in, in the aftermath of these letter bombs and, and postal explosives being sent, none of which actually detonated, um, uh, in the aftermath of them being sent out, a lot of people and a lot of voices spoke up in the United States about unity and the fact that the USA is very, very divided. Um, a, lot, a lot was exchanged, a lot of words were said, and we have poll results that confirm the, the level of disunity and division in U.S. society. A recent poll published by the Associated Press and the Nork Center for Public Affairs Research confirmed that 8 in 10 Americans say that the USA is, quote, greatly divided. Um, furthermore, 39% believe that these divisions are going to get worse. And those divisions are very clear if you go down the issues. When it comes to issues like uh, climate change, for example, income inequality, um, the, the president of the United States and how well he's doing in the office, uh, Democrats and Republicans just don't see eye to eye on those issues. Now, we have heard a number of different political figures, the president, uh, the former vice president Joe Biden, others speaking up and calling for unity in the United States and calling for people in the United States to, to start to uh, not be so divided divided and not, not so hostile to each other when it comes to politics in the aftermath of these, uh, these letter bombs being sent to top figures in the Democratic Party. So uh, we're waiting to hear from the U.S. Department of Justice with regards to the arrest that was just made. We heard a rather triumphant Donald Trump speaking. More information is coming out, but at the moment, Americans are certainly deeply divided when it comes to issues, but everyone certainly agrees that what this individual is accused of doing, having sent all these postal bombs, that that was unacceptable. Uh, the, the, the voices are almost uh, completely unanimous in denouncing what is considered largely to be an act of terrorism.